Welcome back to another Ankeny Van Builds van tour. As you can see behind me, we have a brand new 2021 Mercedes Sprinter van. On the inside, this thing is decked out for all seasons, summer and winter. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's on the inside. So up here in the front, you can see we have two swivel seats, both passenger and driver. This opens up the space, allows more seating for more people. It's, it's a staple of any van. Cool part about this one is you can turn around, face this cabinet, and it's a flip up countertop. So now it's an extra eating and work area area inside this van. Underneath here, there's also a step for your feet, so it's more comfortable. Seat height, and you're not dangling your feet, which could get uncomfortable over time. So you can spend many hours sitting here and relaxing and enjoying the view. Underneath the passenger seat, we have our SPAR diesel heater. It's also one of those must-haves in a van, especially if you're going to be using it for skiing or snowboarding or any winter activity. Uh, absolutely need a heater. Every van I've ever built, I've put a heater in it. Uh, this one works amazingly. So above the driver's area, we have this aftermarket overhead shelf. It's made by a company called White Top Adventures. It is super deep, allows for a ton of storage, which you normally wouldn't have inside of a Mercedes. Also attached with it is this little rod here if you wanted to add a privacy curtain or something along that, those lines. It was attached right there. It was a super easy install, maybe 10, 15 minutes, uh, and it's really sturdy. Would totally recommend those. Now moving on to the kitchen area of the sink, we have a 15 inch by 15 inch bar sink. The water is run off a 12 volt pump. It's got a shower head version and your regular spray mode. Underneath the sink, uh, we have seven gallons of fresh water and seven gallons of gray water. All of them are removable using shark bite connectors, so it's super easy to take in and out. Also in this kitchen area, we have this Live Edge Acacia countertop. It is super beautiful. On top of this countertop, we also have this True Induction single burner induction cooktop. I personally prefer induction cooktop over any gas or propane. It's far less dangerous. You don't have any fumes. Uh, there's no potential for leaks or carbon monoxide, anything like that. And you're not dealing with fire and um, gases inside your small enclosed van. It's all powered by electricity. It's much cleaner and honestly, I think it's much simpler to use. One thing you might've noticed already is that none of these cabinets have any hardware or handles on them. And the reason for that is because there's a push to open latch. And what it is is a magnet and a spring. So when you push it in, it pops it out just enough for you to grab it. You can open it up, get what you need, close it and it'll lock it in place. I have that on both the uppers down here on the lower and right here on this drawer. The best part about it is you push it in and it locks and locks it in place. So when you're driving around, nothing's going to come flying open and you're not going to lose all your stuff inside the cabinetry. Now, the last part of this kitchen area of the van is this Dometic mini fridge. It is super low power and very, very quiet. Keeps everything nice and cool. It also has this handle that you have to lift up on before you open. So that way nothing's going to come flying open as you're driving and it keeps all the stuff inside of your fridge safe. Over here, we have our seating area. It's well big enough for two people to sit down. Uh, on top of this Lagoon table mount, we have this Acacia table, long enough for two people to sit here. It also spins and swivels around whatever direction you want it to go. So if you wanted to stand up out here and enjoy the nice view, you'd have a nice place to put your drinks or your food. This table, this Lagoon table is also adjustable. You just lift up on one of these handles and it can drop down whatever height you want it at lock it in place and then it's not going to go anywhere. Everything is also removable. So if you didn't want this in the way, you can easily turn these handles, pull the table off and store it away somewhere. So also in this seating area, we have this spot right here. You just lift up on it and there's plenty of storage down here. One other cool feature is this back panel is just Velcroed on and it is removable. So you can take it out. You can access your garage, access your battery bank, anything you might need under here. Uh, it's all accessible without having to walk around the back and open up the back doors. Over on this wall, we have all of our electrical switches. So we have a 110 outlet right here, our 12 volt light switch with dimmers on the side, our max air fan, and then and the control head for the SPAR diesel heater. On this side of the bed, we also have this Aviation L track. This is going to be used to put netting, bungee cords, so he can secure things up over his head without losing any of the headroom. And you can also see he's got two reading lamps adjustable so you can move them around whatever way you want. And we got one on either side of the bed. And then on this side where the foot of the bed is going to go, he has two 
overhead storage mule bags made by Adventure Wagon. These things are awesome. It's got so many compartments, pockets. This zips and you can open it up and they are actually really deep. You can store a bunch of stuff in here. Um, really cool and the best part about it, they're soft but they're really sturdy. So if you were to bump your head into it, it wouldn't hurt, but it's also not gonna be loose and kind of flopping around. Above the bed, we have a max air fan for climate control. And if you haven't noticed already, all of the walls and the ceilings are upholstered in this auto carpet. Underneath the carpet is this foam material. So it helps dampen the sound of the panels themselves. Also helps dampen the sound of the road noise. But overall, I think it just is a totally uh, clean look for the interior of your van. And a couple last things before we go ahead and move in, take a look at the garage area. You'll notice that this van has flare spaces on both sides, allowing you to sleep side to side. And this is a six inch uh, full sized mattress and that gave him extra room for more countertop uh, in his kitchen area and Last thing before we go check out the garage is this van if you haven't noticed already has 360 degree windows So it feels totally open it feels like there's a ton of extra space in here and you can enjoy the view from all sorts of different angles Okay, moving on to the garage area. There's tons of room down here uh, he specifically wanted the bed at this height so that his mountain bikes can fit underneath here. He's going to get some forks and screw them into the floor there so that he can mount his bike down here. Uh, on this driver's side wheel well box, we have this shelf that he can put his skis or any sort of long material on it that keeps it up off the floor. Uh, he was talking about putting some ski racks in there later, but he wanted to find the right ones for his. Um, underneath, you could still see there's tons of room. And if you notice, I kind of do this on all my vans. I leave this section open in case you have something really long that you can shove underneath like a long board or lumber, whatever it could be. But I think it personally is a great feature to be able to have uh, something that can go all the way uh, the length of your van. Also inside this shelf, I lined it with the same same material that we used on the flooring down there so it's super durable waterproof um, and an overall clean look I also wrapped this wheel wall box and this wheel wall box in it as well just giving it that durable look to it over here we have a light switch so that controls these two dimmable puck lights underneath the garage so that way if it's dark out you can turn the lights on and see what you have underneath here because the lights from above are going to be blocked now underneath the bed here, this is the Goal Zero 1500 Yeti. I use this battery in all the vans that I build. It's a super simple plug and play type of system. All my 12 volt wiring is plugged into this. Uh, high output port in the 12 volt section. It's wired into this fuse block, so all the 12 volt wiring goes into that. Over here is the 110 uh, inverter, so the induction stove and the 110 outlet that's where that gets its power from and over here is the solar panel charging plug so i have 400 watts of renergy solar panels up on the roof charging this battery uh, and as you can see it's sitting at 100 percent right now so those panels work amazingly keeping this battery fully charged at all times i personally like the goal zero uh, because it's a plug and play type of system if you needed to remove it you just unplug these four uh, plugs. You can pull it out, remove it, do whatever you need. Underneath here, you have your 110 charging. So if you had some cloudy days, you can plug this in with an extension cord and you could recharge your battery that way. So with that, you have multiple options and multiple different ways of charging your battery. And a quick side note about the Renogy solar panels. Uh, if you click the link down in the description below, You'll get 10% off if you buy anything from the Renogy site. Uh, there's a coupon code that you guys can give and I'll get a small commission from it uh, in case you guys are interested. And the last thing down here tucked away is his portable toilet. It's one of those uh, foldable ones that has the three legs on it and the toilet seat and the plastic bag uh, to dispose of your waste. It's nice and portable. It tucks away super cleanly right in here, out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. Um, but there if you need it. 
And one last thing I'd like to talk about is on the outside of this fan, there's a ladder and a roof rack from Illuminesque. They're super easy to install. I think it makes the outside of the van look very sleek and sturdy, and it also gives you a place to attach your solar panels to so that you're not drilling in to the roof of your van. And overall, I think it just makes the van look awesome. On that note, that concludes the van tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Coming up soon, I have a Ford Transit on order. I'm going to be building it out. This one's actually going to be for sale. So I'm going to be filming videos on the build process along the way with that one. So be on the lookout for that. On this Ford Transit, I'm going to film a lot more of the build series um, so you can see exactly what's going into it. So if you were to buy the van, you know exactly what you're getting. So more content coming soon. Should be really exciting. But if you made it this far in the video, thank you very much. Please consider subscribing, like the video, and comment. It helps this video get pushed out to more people. Uh, on that, see you guys later.